Hi Kai Jupiter, hi William Neptune, hi Oscar Elias, it's offshore, it's Norway, it's the weather report. Today is the 16th of August, 2015, and we have a very special guest weatherman today. Can you tell Norway and the United States and Canada and Singapore who you are? Oh, my name is Finn, and I pretend to work here. You pretend to work here? Yes. I thought you were one of the hardest working guys on the whole entire ship. All lies. Really? Yes. What do you do on the ship? I drink coffee. Okay, what else do you, well you drink coffee between waiting for your samples to cook, right? Basically, yes. Yes, so you work in the lab? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of, I would describe that as FM sort of activities, right? What's FM activities? You don't know about FM? No. Well, the second word is magic. Oh, yeah. This is a children's show, so we oh, can't yes. say the first word, yes, right? My fault. Yeah. Are you from Norway? I am from Norway. Really? Which part of Norway? Stavanger. Stavanger. The American part of Norway. Well, the old part. Well, it used to be, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, like, that's what everybody tells me is like Stavanger, that's America, right? Not really. Not really. Uh, well, you don't have a British accent. No, I do not. Okay. So I made my case on that, but most Norwegians don't have a British accent because they watch American sitcoms, correct? Correct. Okay, so the weather today, is this normal Stavanger weather? I wouldn't say so, no. Really? No, we, here we got the uh, northwest winds coming with 12 knots speed, and uh, there's no rain here. It's actually nice weather today. Really? Really nice. Yeah, I ate outside for breakfast again today. Okay. Yeah, yesterday it rained, but I still it was nice to sit outside in the rain. So yesterday was Stavanger type weather, and today isn't. More or less, yes. And this is certainly not Bergen weather, right? No, it's this, not constantly raining. But it's not as nice as say Arendal or um, Mandel, maybe, right? Correct. So we'll just call it Oslo weather. How about that? It's too cold for that, I think. Really? Oslo is usually warm, but I never go there, so I wouldn't really know. Okay. So if you were going to go to Norway, and you are going to go anywhere, where would you send somebody? Pulpit Rock? Pulpit Rock? Well, it's a nice walk, but they kind of ruined the roads, didn't they? I don't know. I haven't ever been. No, they just placed a bunch of rocks where there used to be mud trails, and there basically aren't anymore. Okay. And it's pretty much filled with tourists these days. Ah, so they made it more accessible, so the more silly people go. Yeah, and so you lost a natural sense of walking up there, and so uh, there's basically a queue there. The same queue you can see going up the Eiffel Tower at times, which is not too nice in the natural kind of uh, environment. Okay. Yeah. I, well, I'm the kind that prefers to queue. Yeah, I, I'm that way too. Yeah, people sometimes can be a little tired. So, instead of recommending public rock, I would say Chadog is better. It's okay. less tourists, but it's a tougher trip. Where's the nearest airport to that? Well, it's same city. Really? Yes. So you basically just take a longer boat ride right, to get there. Okay, so next time I'm in Stavanger, I should go to this place. Yes, it's called uh, Lisebotten. And from Lisebotten, you walk up to Chelak, which is more or less what you do that day. Okay, remember you got to talk louder. Ah, yes. I. Because uh, that's one of the complaints of the cameraman is we're not loud enough. I understand. Now I'm a bit shy. You see. That's the nature <laughs> of being in the lab. Okay, so the next question I have for you is, have you been to the Flower Island? The Flower Island? Yeah, off the coast of Savannah? Yeah, uh, no. Yes. Florent Favre. Yeah. I, I don't pronounce it correctly. Did I say it right? Almost? Wow, that's pretty good. You've been there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty awesome. No, it's pretty awesome. And it's not really Norway. No, it's not. But it's awesome all the same. Everybody should go. Yeah, they've got, they got these, uh, do you call them hogs? Palm trees, yeah. Yeah, palm trees. Yeah, yeah palm, palm trees, trees in Norway, that makes no sense. A big portion of these uh, tropical trees there for it's just uh, it's interesting to see. Yeah, but the flowers are cooler. I guess. Oh, I'm the flowers, so oh, okay. I'm not that much of a flower child, but I do like flowers. They got a lot of both activities down in Star. I would definitely recommend going to one of those if you have a chance and if you can afford it. They're pretty so it's better to get to know somebody who has a boat. Just go wow. out for a fishing trip, don't, visit a few hours. Don't go to Norway if you're not going to get on a boat, because the best way to see the country is from a boat, right? Yeah. And if you 
nice walks, uh, take a few hikes on the mountains as well, that's always nice. If you're into that sort of physical activity, I'm sure. like climbing Mount Fuji or something like that, that sounds like work, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so anything else you want to tell Norway today? Nah. Canada, the United States. Hope you're doing well up there. Okay. I guess. We can say goodbye. Goodbye, Canada, Norway, and United States of America. Bye-bye.